am in the kitchen with private chef Trey Corcoran brought to us from Sue Casa Magazine. I feel like you were just here. Like we just saw you a couple weeks ago. Is that right? Yeah, I'll take that as a compliment. I gotta, no, I'm excited that you're here again <laughs> because your food's delicious. What are we making today? Uh, today we're doing a cream of brie and crab meat soup with asparagus. That sounds delicious. Okay, so walk me through the ingredients that you have lined up right here. Okay, so I have a little bit of lump crab meat, mm -hmm. um, some fresh brie, shallots, lemons, uh, some white cheddar, a little green onion for garnish. Real simple. Um, we're also, I'm on the paleo diet, so we're going to kind of oh. add the cheese at the end, which is not paleo, but okay. we'll have a little bit of a paleo version But if you version stopped in there, there, it would be paleo. Right. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is kind of, this is a healthy dish. Mm -hmm. It All is, right. kind of. Good. Yeah. And delicious. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I'm excited for this. Now, why do you go with brie? Brie is kind of a different sort of cheese. It is. It is. It just ha it has a unique kind of sharp flavor to it, and we'll balance that out. We're putting a little bit of white cheddar in there to make it a little smoother, and okay. then a little bit of lemon will kind of give that a good little depth and layering in there. Okay. Well, I trust you, and I'm excited to eat it. So we'll get cooking in a little bit, but for now, we're going to send things over to Chad. All right, guys, a beautiful start to this Thursday morning here in the Duke City. Hey, Juniper, I got a message for you. Go away. You're killing my voice <laughs> Good here. Message. All right, we are back in the kitchen with Trey Corcoran, who was brought to us by Sucasa Magazine. Trey, what are we making today, buddy? Uh, we're making a brie and crab meat soup with asparagus. Um, you know, we got some shallots saute in here. We're doing it today with, uh, with coconut milk. It's, you would usually do this with, with heavy cream, but like I said earlier, I'm on the paleo diet, so I wanted to throw a little bit of that in there, and minus the cheese, this is a totally paleo recipe, so right. we're gonna put the cheese in last, and if you wanna follow that, if you're on that, or. Okay. So yeah. that's what you have going on in here? Mm-hmm. That's just um, the coconut? Full fat, full fat coconut milk. Okay. And, so do you really taste a difference with the coconut milk versus like heavy cream or regular milk? Because coconut milk to me seems so exotic. Um, it's not much of a difference, no. especially in dishes like this where you're cooking a lot of other flavors into it. Um, okay. And it, you know, some people, dairy sits really heav heavily on them, even sure. if they're not allergic to it. Sure. Um, and so something like that, like I use it in my coffee too, and there's a huge difference in that because really? it's just okay. those two flavors. But when you go in a soup or something, not, not too much. Can't really okay. tell. So what, let's jump into it. What okay. do we do so first? So Brittany, if you want to add those, those asparagus to this pan here. Um, I've been All sauteing these shallots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. that up a little bit. So we're just going to put this uh, on high. The shallots have been going kind of on low because you don't want them to brown since it's a uh, cream okay. soup. You don't want to give it any color from that. Okay. okay. And, um, so if you want to add that seasoning in there too, we'll yep. just give these asparagus just a minute here. And that's okay. uh, white pepper, cayenne, and salt. Okay. Um, okay. And then uh, we'll just give this just a minute and then we're going to add the, okay. the coconut milk to so, it. And then, so while that's doing that, Trey, let's talk about some of the services you offer. You are a personal chef. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, someone calls up, they have an event going on. Uh, is, is that primarily what you do is for events or do you have clients that are just constantly um, like, I'm a terrible cook, I need your expertise? No, I actually just work for one lady um, who's, who's out here most of the year. So I just, it's a live-in situation. Wow. I work for okay. her and then like I told you last time, we're doing uh, I'm doing pop-up dinners right now right. in Santa Fe and in Madrid. Right. Um, so that kind of ties. That's kind of my catering work. Instead of doing okay. a traditional catering thing, we let people buy a whole dinner, or we you know we invite them in. And um, like I said, we're doing them at the Art Shack in Madrid. And now since my photography is being shown there, mm -hmm. and um, several other artists, we're, what we're doing now is we're tying the art opening in with the pop-up dinners and so the night before we're having buyers come in and we're doing a dinner and giving them a preview dinner before wow. the night of the opening okay. so we're kind of playing around with some ideas there. That's really exciting. Yeah. Okay, that's great. All right, so uh, this, <coughs> this looks like it's cooking up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so if you want to just, you want to add the uh, coconut cream, pour the whole thing in there. pour the whole thing in there. Let Brittany back <laughs> up. So. I know, I'm backing up. I don't trust him. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, all right. Good job, Chad. Proud of you. <laughs> you okay. pour like a champ, from it. <laughs> yeah. Keep him away from me. Whipped cream this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I, I, I couldn't help myself. It's just so yummy. Okay. So this that was pretty much to a boil. So we're just going to go ahead and, if you want to add the uh, cheese to that, bring you we'll bet I do. Add that in there. So again, if you want to make this a paleo diet or if you want to make it dairy free, just Avoid skip this part. skip this step. You want to stir that up a little yeah. bit? Okay. okay. So now if someone wants to participate in these <clears throat> pop-up dinners, Trey, they want to come out, they want to experience not only your, your food, but your photography. Mm -hmm. When is the next event that we'll be able to attend? Um, we actually have one Sunday night at 6. It's uh, at the Art Shack in Madrid. And, um, you know, they can find me on Facebook. I have a Facebook page called uh, Trey's cookbook. Trey's cookbook. So I do live recipe sharing on there. So when I'm cooking for my boss, whenever I come up with something I like, I'll take pictures of it, post the recipe right there so people can cook along. Or um, So the best way is to get in touch on Facebook. It's just okay. kind of how the world operates. People yeah. get frustrated with it that aren't on there. But 
it's just kind of essential for doing go. this sort of thing. Yeah, so this fantastic. Sunday night and then probably once a month after that. And if uh, they look up the Art Shack and Mad Year too, we're going to actually do them in the gallery from now on. So okay. you'll be able to kind of see on their website too. Uh, when the next event is. Okay, mm -hmm. fantastic. Okay. Now, of so. course, we have to add the crab meat. When do we do that? Do we <coughs> We're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. So you can put that in. The cheese just melts in there. This helps thicken up the soup. You know, most uh, Louisiana dishes, good job. Um, <laughs> so yeah. You were worried about me, Brittany. Right? You're the one making a mess. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're so. going to keep working on this, guys. When we come back, we'll take a look at the finished product. Stay right there. Oh, yeah.